Hello everyone, uh, Matt here just changing up a little bit this morning, or uh, afternoon actually. It's been uh, blowing, we had a, quite a few storms come in this morning. Uh, getting here close to the end of day, we're going to try a little surf fishing uh, here at Fort Macon State Park. Uh, I'm going to go out to the beach trying to get set up. The problem is here, <clears throat> October, I forgot what day it was, I think 17th. Um, it's 85 degrees. Get ready to throw my waders on. Um, I'm a, I hope I won't have heat exhaustion, but uh, uh, real quick, I'd like to thank everyone that has uh, tuned in to watch this video. Um, if you could hit the subscribe button, that would mean a lot to me. Um, blessed just to be able to uh, do this video for you guys. Uh, anyways, sit back. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and uh, we'll see if we can catch some fish. Amazing how pretty it was out there yesterday. It's uh, all the raw power over the ocean it is today, as rough as it is. What we got is the tides coming in. <clears throat> you can see the white water out there, there's a little bar. And there's a little pool that's right there. I bet if I come here on here a low tide, it'd have been a little bit better, but fish when you can fish. Here's just a uni knot and this 30 pound power pro. This braid has no memory, it's kind of tough to tie out here in the wind. Make the loop there and I cut off some of the excess. I would uh, suggest get you a nice bucket when you come out here because it makes it a whole lot easier to work All on. Right, back out here for round two. Regardless, 
probably won't catch any fish today, but. Amazing uh, to be blessed with the opportunity to come out here and uh, just experience the ocean. I will admit, this is the first time I actually tried surf casting. Surf fishing, surf casting. That, uh, it's a learning experience for me. Now, they earlier in the week there was mention of some trout being caught in the surf, and that's why I'm using my go-to oh got a little wet there for uh sea trout the quarter inch jig and i'm using an eagle claw got the sticker in the bucket and right now i got it paired with a four ounce sparkly goat or excuse me four inch sparkly goat shrimp in white the reason why I'm using white because I've had the most success out of white. One of the things I'm doing too. Is I'm moving trying to move down the beach. When I first got here, I went about 100 yards that way, casting and walking. And now I'm going to my left, which would be east down the beach. Get it, dude. Well, everyone, I appreciate you watching my video. Unfortunately, uh, this turned into a uh, surf fishing fail, so to speak. Uh, R&D, I guess, is another way to look at it. But uh, it was still amazing to be able to come out and enjoy the day, not be stuck inside. And, uh, you know, just to experience life in general and to uh, experience the awesome power of the ocean. Uh, any day around the water is certainly awesome in my book um, <clears throat> With that uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to do some more research. Maybe I can get a better surf fishing video uh, here coming up in the next couple weeks and uh, Maybe I might have to change my tactics. Obviously uh, you fish when you can and that's what I did today So anyways, hope everybody has a good one. And again, thank you for watching my video. Have a good evening and we'll catch you next time. Thank you